Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend. Uh, yeah, Osman, I think you are an ex-Muslim right now, right? Uh, no, no, I saw you two years ago. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is why I, I see there's a, like a chat between me and you uh, in, the, in the text. So you called me a long time ago. Okay, so what do you, how I can help you? Yeah. From there, I was still in mourning for my friend and uh, because that time I was in Mecca, things are looking for time to book me for four weeks. Mm. Very strange. Okay. Looking for four weeks, they tried to hear it from me. Okay, hold on, Osman. Sorry. Yeah, but then people after did not, people did not hear your voice from the beginning of the conversation because the speaker was mute. So can you repeat again uh -huh. what you just, what you just said to me, please? Okay, I called you like uh, two years ago. Yeah. We talked about Christianity and Islam. And uh, yeah, but then that time I was really confused. So I was searching, I was looking like which way is better because okay. one day, of course, we know we're going to die and there's life after. But then after searching, after start learning, Wallahi, it just increased my faith in Islam. And uh, now, I'm sure that Islam is the truth. Okay, that's good. So uh, tell me why you are sure. Uh, because uh, when I read the Quran, mm -hmm. I see like uh, what the Quran says and maybe what is happening, for example, right in the world right now. Hmm. Give me an example. Like yeah. it is the Quran. You need to help me. Osman, I, yeah. I want you please. You know, uh, first you I will come to, uh, you, I'm glad you called me. Uh, when you say I found that Quran is the truth and because of what's happening, etc. Give me an example. Go ahead. Okay. For example, mm. <clears throat> yeah. like uh, now right now we are in fasting, right? Yeah. Now you are fasting, okay? Yeah. For example, so you know, fasting is just good for the health. For, for health and uh, okay. even We've, uh, scientists and doctors, the, the they have the confirmed that. They have fasting at least nine, 90 days a year. And as you see, your prophet, uh -huh. he saw the Jews first time fasting, so he copied that from them. Actually, you call me in the perfect time. Do you see, no, the, no. Do you see the hadith you see in front yeah. of you on the screen? You're a prophet, he learned about fasting from the Jews, not from Allah. Yeah, and that's exactly the problem. Because every time uh, Christians hmm. uh, see something in Islam, they say it is copied. It but is not, not being I'm copied. Not saying, the, the, I'm the, not saying, my is, friend, Osman. I'm all not, those prophets. I'm not saying, yeah. my friend. It's in front of you. I'm not saying. You're a prophet. Uh -huh. He asked the Jews. You're a prophet. He saw the Jews mm -hmm. fasting. He said yes. to them, what is this? Why you are fasting? They said, this is the day uh -huh. where uh, uh -huh. uh, Moses and the people of Israel we are able to escape mm -hmm. the Pharaoh. Moses, he fasted, mm -hmm. so we fasted. Okay. Muhammad, he started fasting mm -hmm. that day. Shouldn't Muhammad receive the order from Allah? For his fasting? No, no, no. No? No, Why? but... Uh, Why no? No, no, no. I mean, uh, if uh, the Prophet said that, it is uh, from Allah that uh, inspired What do you mean uh, the prophet to, says that? No, say it's, that. it's a, a Jew, a Jew in the street. He was walking in the street. Uh -huh. Do you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Open the screen. I have the hate yeah. on the screen. Okay. So he saw a Jewish guy yeah. in the street. He was fasting. Yeah. He said to him, what is this? Uh -huh. He said, this uh -huh. is the day where Allah, he did make... Yeah, of course I know. Okay. I know the hadith. Okay. So but you, even you, that hadith, it doesn't talk about the fasting of ramadan or something it talks no, about, no, ashura, talk about right? fasting before ramadan this is before ramadan yeah sure of course okay. yeah okay so this is before yeah. ramadan why your prophet mm -hmm. is copying a day of fasting from a jew in the street and the quran says the most enemy to allah is the jews no because the prophet hmm. confirmed that uh, the, sto the 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 story is true where he confirmed okay, okay show me where it's confirmed where it's confirmed that the Ashura, Jews, my friend, you're talking about... The Jews, they celebrate the day of... Uh, okay, they were but saved I, I from... Thought the uh, Jews the, are the a, but I thought, according to Islam, the Jews are a bunch of... But, no, but not, not the Bible, okay? Uh -huh. Not the Bible. Okay, but as you see here, he did like, not open the okay. Bible to see... Secondly, we cannot find Ashura in the Bible, this is number one. 
Number two, uh -huh. he did not say to them, okay, show me your book where it says that. He heard a guy, he asked the guy, the guy, he said to him the answer, Muhammad, he adopted right away. And not only that, he just learned this from the Jewish guy, and then he claimed that if you fast the day of Ashura, it's going to erase your sin for the previous year. Is that true? Yeah, it's true, of course. Okay, so where, where Allah, he told him that, he just learned about this from the Jew. The Jew five minutes ago told him that this is a mm -hmm. day we fast. He never heard of it. Five minutes after, Muhammad, he claimed that if you fast this day, it's going to erase the sin of one year before. What do you mean this is true? Where we can find that? What is okay, your, so, what is your okay. reference? Then, uh, okay, so what can make you know that uh, this is uh, from God? Like, what time does it need to take? Because now you are focusing like on the time. Like, no, no, it it's is, not uh, just the five time. Minutes, I'm, I'm my friend, my friend. You are, you are a person, just uh, call me right now. And you just say, you yes. taught me about Ashura. I never heard of it before. And then you say to me, Christian Prince, mm. Ashura is the day where Musa, he crossed the sea, and Musa, he fasted. Then I say to you, okay, mm -hmm. okay, I will fast it then because I am more close to, to Musa more than the Jews. And then five minutes after, during mm. my program now, I say, guys, if you fast Ashura, it erases a sin of one year before, previous year. Where he get this from? He just learned about it from the Jews. Where he got that fasting a day of Ashura is going mm. to erase a sin of a year before it and a year after, which means two mm. years. Okay. Let me ask okay, you. Okay, okay. Let me respond. Let me ask you. Do you really believe in such a thing that if you fast the day of Ashura, it's going to erase uh. the year before and the year after? Yeah. Did the Prophet say that? Ah, oh, you do not know who said that. So if the, if I say yes, you will say yes. If, if I say said, no, if the prophet said that, no, the, the one who yes, said that is it, the, the, the one who said the, the one who said that is Madeline Albright, uh -huh. a Jewish woman. So do you believe in it or not? Yeah, if someone who is a uh, truth confirms it, of course I will believe it. Okay. Even if uh, someone who is crazy says something, so and so someone Muslims, who I know is you, truthful, okay. So so Muslims, that, course, so Muslims, they take their religion from who? From a Jewish guy in the street? Not exactly. Okay, not exactly. Explain to me, my friend. First of all, that's me. Yeah. Why why you are Can fasting Ramadan? Me then me okay, hold on, hold on. Why why you are fasting Ramadan now? Yeah, we are fasting Ramadan because Allah says, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you you know the ayah, right? Okay, but, but listen, as long as long fasting the day of Ash, if you fast the month of Ramadan, does it erase the uh, year before sin and a year after sin? Uh, the month of Ramadan it erases the the sin after, uh, yeah. and yeah, of course. Where do you get uh, this from? Course, yeah, where, it does. Where, where where do you get this from? Show me. There's a hadith about that. Okay, no, when you say something, uh, Uthman, either you are fabricating or you uh -huh. are saying the truth. So I want you to show me where you get this from. Okay. The, the hadith, it says, uh, Man Sama Ramadan, mm -hmm. Imana, mm -hmm. something like that. Whoever fasts in the month of Ramadan with a belief, okay. Allah will forgive his sins the, 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 the past year and uh, the coming year. Okay. So you are saying to me, this yes. is a hadith and this is exist, right? Yes. Okay. Which one now is better? If I fast one day of Ashura, it hmm. it is going to erase the sin of the previous year and the uh, year after. Hmm. If you hmm. fast thirty days, that will erase hmm. one year before and one month, one year after, as you said, correct? Hmm. Okay. So which one, which one is more strong? Which one? Okay. Which fasting? Yes, uh, let me respond to that. Hmm. Can you uh, me, the can thing you, is, can, uh, you, can you give me the hadith so we can laugh about what you say that if you fast the month of Ramadan, Allah raised the year before, a year after? Just check it uh, wherever you, you check uh, on uh, hadith, you're going to find it, of course. I don't just take it. You have to give me a reference. Otherwise, you are fabricating things. Are you fabricating? Just write. Are you fabricating? Just write. Things? A, are you fabricating? No, are just write what I said. Huh? Just write. Uh, because I see you using Sunnah.com, right? Okay. Yeah. So just write what I said. Whoever of, uh, fast uh, Ramadan with uh, faith and this, 
his sins will be forgiven pasty and like okay. check like that so let me respond to the question you said mm -hmm. like you will be given uh, like uh, which one is better uh the thing is when they say like your sins will be forgiven mm -hmm. they just want to show you how like how big the, the the reward is from that work you are doing mm. okay I don't understand. okay for example what 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 what, what? You see, we have we have a day of Ashura, the day you fast, yes. you fast a few hours, and then a few hours, mm -hmm. let us say eight hours, is going to erase mm -hmm. all your sin. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, for a year before and a year after, right? The mm -hmm. hadith you gave you gave me about Ramadan, it says it's going to erase your sin from the mm -hmm. day your mother she gave birth to you. Mm hmm. Correct. Well, which one is that? Which one is that? I'm giving you my own hadith now. Mm -hmm. Since you are born, mm -hmm. don't you think that this is make Islam? Because now you go have sleep around, and then you fast a day in Ashura or the month of Ramadan, and then all your sin since you are born is mm -hmm. erased. Islam is no. No, I don't think so. Why? Are you, why, why Can you I explain? Okay, hold on. So now a Christian prince, he go, but uh, you know, he, 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 give wants, him he joined him. a gang, he joined yes. a gang. He... My friend, don't you uh -huh. believe Don't you believe in what is written in front of us or you don't? Of course I believe in okay. uh, I'm a Muslim. It says here, yeah. a year that to come and a year to, uh, is past. So you are given an open license for sin. My coming year, no. all my sin in the coming year is gone already. When you say like uh, Jesus died for your sin, does it give you a license to do sin? No. Okay. Okay, but this one is so clear. It says when you fast okay, this let's, day. Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Yeah. Uh -huh. hmm. So uh -huh. when you do this day, fast this day, your sin for the coming uh -huh. year is forgiven too. So it's an uh -huh. open license for sin. Open license no. for fornication. Oh, what do you mean? No, hey, we go in front of you. Go ahead. Of course. And even uh, fornication is a big sin. Like you cannot say like Islam promotes that. Of course. First of all, uh, Islam never, for, no, Islam never, never forbid. From uh, from what we're discussing, bro, you are deviating. No, you are changing the topic. But I'm saying here, it says your sin. Uh -huh. What sin? Sin is eating candies. What is sin? What okay. is sin? Is so, sin is so, eating candies. Or sin is uh, jumping in the on the tree. Or sin is uh, sin is sin. Sin is sin is uh, 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 sin is a drinking. Suppose according to Islam, right? Uh, mm. Any <clears throat> against Allah teaching? Yeah. Okay. So it says yeah, but, uh, your sin for the coming year when, will be forgiven. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when Islam, uh, when we talk about sin, in Islam, mm. like the sins, like uh, they are like different levels. There are some sins, uh -huh. like small sins, we, we just do okay, them. Let me, let me show you that you are trying to cover up. You see, your God, Allah, he says, he forgive all kind of sin except shirk. So this is included, except shirk. Yeah, even even uh, shirk is uh, forgiven no. if you repent no. before you die. No, that's false. That's false. The Quran is so clear. Are you, you making, are, are, you make, are you making your religion now? Huh? This is uh, Surah Zuhr. Huh? Inna Allah forgives all the sins. Okay. What, what, what do you think? Okay, this guys, is, he, he, you just said, you just said, Allah, yes. he forgive all sin, correct? Yes. Okay. But did Allah you say, Allah, did, did Allah, did Allah say that Allah forgive not those who commit shirk? Yeah, when you die doing the shirk, you die a mushrik, like my what friend, you do. My friend, hold on. This is, this is very funny. Uh, you just uh -huh. said, you just said, Allah will not forgive those who take partner with him, correct? When you die doing that, yes. First, nowhere here it says when you died. It says Allah forgive not because forgiveness always have to happen anyway before death, not after. <laughs> Secondly, no, 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 hold on, hold on. So now when you fast the month of Ramadan, are you fasting after death or before death? 
Oh my God! You just said Allah we forgive your fasting. sin after death. You said Allah forgive your sin after death. Now you are fasting the month of Ramadan or the day of Ashura. Are you fasting after death or before? Because this is why you you fast. You fast so your your sin will be forgiven, right? But uh, the way you are taking the conversation, um, you are just trying to confuse. You are, me, right? you are the one is confused already. I'm asking you. When Allah in the Quran says Allah He forgive <laughs> not, who take partner? He did not say after death you are adding things. Do you see the word after death? Okay, oh, oh, let me tell you why I'm saying uh, after death. Why I'm saying that? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm saying that uh, Allah says, hmm. "Oh, you my slaves who have wronged themselves, hmm. don't be the don't despair in the mercy of Allah." Of Allah. Don't what? Indeed, don't despair. Don't lose hope. Okay. In the midst of Allah, in, mm -hmm. did Allah forgives sins? Okay, and he's saying, go this back to, to Allah, like when you friend, could, if uh, Allah He made an exception, Allah He forgive all sin, except uh -huh. it's in the front of you, and Allah He forgive yeah. anything lower than this. So He's speaking to yeah, who? Speaking to my friend, my it, friend. Allah, Allah speaking to who? Allah speaking to those who believe in Him. Correct. This verse is for believers, not for yeah. what, not for non-believer. But non-believer don't believe in him anyway. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the Quran speaks to everybody. If if you are not My a believer, friend, no, no, no. You see, see, here he's speaking. To, here he speaks. Here is speak to the believer. Let me show you why. Because who is going to take partner from with Allah unless he believe in Allah? A Hindu, he don't mm -hmm. believe in Allah. Christian don't believe in Allah. Jewish don't believe in Allah. So here, the one who take partner with Allah is somebody believe in Allah. So he's a believer in Allah, but he take a partner. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Allah forgive any sin for those people under except that sin. Because now if you convert to Islam and you use to worship different God, Allah forgive not your sin. Because you were a mushrik. No, I think uh, your logic is very, very flawed. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, it's very okay, stupid. My friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, answer me oh with you can love as much as you want. Does it say that those people worship uh -huh. Allah already? They worship Allah already. Yeah, but uh, when Allah says uh, doing shirk, it's uh, worshiping something besides Allah. Yeah. Yeah, he said he don't forgive him. If you continue that path, yeah. When you die, Allah will, forgive, will not forgive you. Okay, so let me ask you: If now I decide to leave Islam, if you 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 uh, Osman, like uh, Osman, 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 Osman. As I remember, actually, when huh? you called me last time, I believe that you decide to leave Islam. Now you are saying you did not. No, no, no. Because that time I was still in a moment of uh, learning. Okay, you know? but you did leave Islam, correct? At that time, yeah, I can. Okay, thank yeah. you. So look at this. Do Allah now you come back to Islam? Do Allah forgive you? Yes. Well, my friend, I have a bad news for you. This is the Quran in front of your eyes. The Quran say clearly, mm -hmm. Allah forgive not to those who they left Islam. No, of course not. No, what? What do you mean? Of course not. Let us read together. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And now you will say, and now you will say to me, uh, uh, you will try to find all of the executors. Look what the Quran said. Hmm. This is your book, and you can try as best you can. And as I remember now very well, because I'm looking at the chat between me and you, me and you in Skype, obviously you left Islam. So here, look what happened. Chapter 3, verse number 86, read it for me. Mm -hmm. What does it say? You read it, go ahead. No, don't, don't. My friend, read it and everybody is laughing now. I insist. No, no, no. I insist. I, I called I you. I insist. Don't hang up. Because if you hang of up. Of course, I will watch okay. hang up. I so, will hang so, up. Okay, okay, read I... it. Okay, read it. Read it. Go ahead. No, I'm not on YouTube now. Chapter 3, open your phone, your computer, doesn't matter. Chapter 3, verse number 86, and read it for me. You left Islam life in my show two years ago, as you said. And now you are back to Islam as you claim. What the Quran says?
Okay, let me. You, you said I should check. You said chapter what? Yeah, chapter three, verse number eighty-six. Who is the one who guided you to Islam back? Allah, right? Who is the one who guided you back to Islam? Mm. Allah, correct? Three. Allah is the one who. This what? Islam. Allah is the one who guided you back to Islam, correct? Who is the one who guided you back to Islam? Allah or yourself? You said I should check uh, on uh, yeah, for, for, for the chart. Answer about this one. Who is the one who guided you back to Allah to Islam? Allah or yourself? Of course, uh, Allah. Okay, read the verse, guys. Of course, Allah is the one who yeah. guided him. Mm. But, bro, read it. Read but it. there read are Allah, what you say. No. Just, just read it. Don't tell me, bro. And uh, I am not a bro. I am not a father. I'm not just my friend. Read it. You said to me, Allah is the one who guided me yeah, to, to go back that, to Islam. Yeah. Read the verse. Yeah. Which verse? What's wrong with you? Chapter 3, verse number 86. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I saw I saw the verse. Mm. Mm -hmm. I asked you, who is the one who guide you back to Islam? You said to me, Allah. Mm -hmm. Allah said, how shall Allah guide mm -hmm. the people who disbelieve after their belief? Allah will never do that. Yeah. So, so, the, let me, so the question now, who is the one who guide me. you back to Islam? As long as it's not it's, Allah. Let me ask you, you asked, you asked, you asked, you asked right? What? Then why can't you let me like explain to you? Go ahead. Because you are just talking by yourself. Okay. Friend, look, look, at, look at this. Look at this. Uh, 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 Osman, Osman, I want you to be honest with me. Have you huh? ever heard of this verse before? Of be course. I have. I have, of course. Okay, so how you did not ask yourself how I was a Muslim, I left Islam, and the verse is saying how Allah shall guide people who disbelieve after their belief. Okay, do you know Sabab al Nuzul of that verse? You tell me, go ahead. Okay, that's you, why I told do, you, do you everything. To for you because, 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 because if, you, if you want me to open it, I can open it for you and you will die laughing then and you will be more in trouble. Trust me, you want it? I can put it on the screen. People will die laughing. You know the problem, you don't, you just, the problem, you love this. What are you talking about? If you, I ask you, I ask you, I ask you, Osman, you said, you huh? know this verse before. before. I ask you, who is the one who guide you back to Islam? I asked you just two minutes ago, who is the one who guide you back to Islam? You said Allah, correct? Yeah, then before I explain, you start to talking. Before you explain, there's no, you can explain, no problem. But Allah says he will never guide you. How shall Allah guide people who disbelieve after they believe. So Allah, obviously, he never gu guide you. Who is the one who guide you to Islam back? Go ahead. Obviously, how do you come to that conclusion? It says there, how shall Allah guide people who disbelieve after disbelieve? How you see shall do that? He will not. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does the, the, the verse before and after that say? Doesn't matter, read it. Allah will still will not guide you if you leave Islam, my friend. Okay, listen, listen, listen. If somebody leave Islam now, somebody left Islam, like you two years ago, Okay, mm -hmm. Allah is not the one, he will not allow it to happen to guide you. It's in front of you. How shall Allah no, guide it those? Happen. It can happen. What do you mean it can happen? Allah, he says how he will do that. He cannot, he will not. Are you fooling yourself? Are you lying to yourself? It's in front of your eyes. Uh, like, let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, Allah He said, explain. No problem. How shall Allah just, guide people? Okay, let, let us focus. Let us focus, uh, Osman. Just listen how, to me one minute. How shall Allah? Interrupt. How shall Allah guide? Just give me a minute without interruption. Okay, go ahead. Go give ahead. me a minute. No, I will give you. I will give you. I will give you five minutes. Okay. I'm listening. I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. The thing is, hmm. there is a uh, two different types of uh, guidance. Hmm. There is a hidayah which is called tawfiq, and there is hidayah which is called rushdi. You understand? Wow. Okay. Okay. Hmm. The tawfiq, the hidayah tawfiq. Hmm. This is the hidayah that uh, only Allah knows. But the hidayah to rushd, it is you yourself like uh, trying your best. Then the rest. Is for Allah to do the hidayah tawfiq. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I said there, right? Well, you can fabricate as much as you want, but still, what this have to do? It's not fabrication. What okay, do you mean my friend, my friend, are you saying to me that now you going back to Islam is not from Allah? Of course, it is uh, from Allah, but uh, first, it is me who who try to choose that, and Allah gives me the hidayah, which is the tawfiq. But for me, is the hidayah to rush that I, look, I should look for. Hmm. Allah cannot force you to become a Muslim. Allah cannot force you to become. You yourself should uh, go look okay, for okay. the way. Hold on. So then now, oh, listen, listen. You see, you you try to make like a guidance is two branches. With the branch which guide you, do you see what it says here? How shall Allah guide people who disbelieve? So Allah, He wash His hand from it, and you you just said that both the mm -hmm. both guidance, both of them, tawfiq and hidayah, whatever you call it, in statement, both of them they are coming from Allah, and the Quran confirmed that. It says mm -hmm. no, no. the one. Wait, wait. For example, the Quran says. Is it uh, talking to the prophet that Allah says to the prophet, "Indeed, you guide to the straight path." Straight path. I don't know whether I saw a shura. Wa inna kalata hadi ila surat al Okay, meaning like you, the prophet, you guide to the right path. Okay. okay? But Allah is the one who guide. So what's the difference here? Okay. So the difference. On, okay. There is, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When, when, example, you, when you decide you, when you decide to leave Islam. No, wait, wait. Let me When you call me two years ago, when you call me two years ago, when you call me two years ago, just to make it simple, to make it simple, uh, Osman, to make it simple, when you call me two years ago and you decide to leave Islam, who is the one who misguides you? You hang up. <laughs> they find that he is losing. Big time. Let me call him back. Suddenly now he died. I have two branches. The Quran say clearly that Allah is the one who misguide you. Let me call you back, and now you are in trouble. It's Allah who misguide you, my friend. Face it. Cast you out of faith? He didn't want to, he he wanted to answer. He knew he had nothing to say. Okay, no problem. It's up to you. Mari ikut Yesus. Mari ke jalan yang benar. Tuhan berkati.